I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Voice actor Harry Shearer, who recently left The Simpsons in a contract dispute, will be back with the show for its 27th season at a salary of $300,000 per episode. Excellent. Americans have less confidence in organized religion today than ever measured before. According to a Gallup study, in the 80s, the church and organized religion were number one in Gallup's annual look at confidence in institutions. In the latest study, church and organized religion is now ranked in fourth place in the survey, behind the military, small business, and the police, while still ahead of the medical system, Congress, and the media, among 15 institutions measured. See, now this is why I don't believe in organized religion. See, I opt for disorganized religion, you know, where services begin whenever, uh, the worship songs are rarely memorized and are also played in whatever key is easiest for the piano player, and if we're out of wafers, communion is served using Oreo cookies. Last Friday, the Confederate battle flag was finally taken down from the grounds of the South Carolina State Capitol. So, welcome to the 1960s, South Carolina. Actor Mark Ruffalo has thrown his weight behind the movement to save the Great Barrier Reef. Ruffalo has tweeted his support along with a link to the Greenpeace site, which states that the reef is under threat from the coal industry. And you'd better listen to Mark, too. I mean, you don't want to make him angry. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. As part of the nuclear deal, Iran wants the embargo lifted on selling it conventional weapons, which no doubt will also be used for peaceful purposes. In just two short months, September 10th, the NFL season begins with the Steelers at the Patriots. Although it is rumored that some people are offended by the Patriots logo and it might be replaced with a rainbow. Well, a visit to Starbucks is now going to cost you more due to price hikes that took place last week. They added something new to their prices. A comma. It's official. More people are running for a major party's presidential nomination than ever. According to Time magazine, former Virginia Governor Jim Gilmore said last Tuesday that he plans to announce his campaign for the 2016 Republican nomination during the first week of August, making him the 17th candidate on the GOP side. And today, it's rumored that Scott Walker is getting in the race. The Democratic field, while much narrower, still already has five candidates. So I guess now is as good a time as any for me to make my own personal announcement. Yes, I am officially making it known that I am now a candidate for Subway spokesperson. The State Department admitted that, in at least six instances, Hillary Clinton's team altered emails before handing them over. So her new campaign slogan is, Hillary 2016, we'll fix it in post. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. You can get more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. 